Now, there was an interesting study that was published very recently that came out of Iceland. Iceland is an unusual community where the people are very closely related. They apparently originated from a limited number of families that came over from Scandinavia, uh, Norway or uh, Denmark, I'm not, I don't remember. Uh, but they, as a result, they have a DNA record of a large part of the population. And they studied a group of children, it was 78 children, and analyzed their DNA and compared it to the DNA of their parents. Because after all, each child gets half its DNA from the father and half from the mother. And it was interesting to see the mutations that existed in all of these originate on the father's side more likely than on the mother's side. And the reason for that is that females are born with all of their eggs. The eggs are not developed. When puberty arises, when puberty comes, the eggs start to develop, and then one at a time they are released, one per month roughly. Uh, sperm cells are made by spermatocytes, which at puberty they develop, they become real cells, and they become subject to the same forces of other cells. And as a result, they seem to accumulate more mutations than these eggs that are more protected sitting in the ovary. And from these data, they were able to determine how many mutations occur in male germ cells uh, over uh, that the, the mutations double every 60 years. And roughly, there's a mutation rate which will give about uh, 60 or so mutations predicted on the basis of these data for a uh, sort of a normal lifespan.